I can't believe he missed. He put it on a plate. Plate? What plate? The defender has him in his pocket. What? They are under the cosh. Yeah. I give up. Hello, my name is Harry and this is Learn English with British Harry. I love football, or as in America, people would call it soccer. And today we're going to learn some essential football vocabulary. In his pocket. This is when a player can control the other player, so he neutralizes his attack. And it generally relates to a defender. So a defender can stop the attacker from scoring goals or creating opportunities. So the defender had him in his pocket. A fox in the box. What? A fox in the box? It's really strange. A fox in the box refers to a player who is really good at finding space and scoring goals near the opposition's goal. A dead ball specialist. A dead ball? No, the ball isn't dead, but it means that the player is really good or excellent when striking the ball when the ball is stationary, when it's still. So he may be really good at free kicks and corners. Heavy metal football. This is really strange. Heavy metal football? This style of play was implemented by a coach called Jurgen Klopp and it involves really fast and attacking and counter-attacking play. Hair dryer treatment. This is when a manager gets really angry and shouts at the players. It is a euphemism. A euphemism is a polite way to say something without being rude or too direct. For example, someone may say that person passed away instead of saying he died, or they may say he was let go instead of he was fired. So a euphemism is a polite way to explain something. Park the bus. This is when a team plays really defensively. So the team parked the, the bus they weren't coming out to attack, they were just defending all the time. A foot like a traction engine. This is another strange one. This means that a player has a really powerful shot. A brace. A brace means when you score two goals. A hat-trick is when you score three goals. A perfect hat-trick is when you score with your left foot, your right foot, and your head. It's seen as an achievement because it's something very difficult to do in a game. A Hollywood pass is a pass that looks really impressive, but it doesn't always achieve much. It is more risky than just playing a simple pass, so it looks spectacular. The player may kick the ball across the field and it looks spectacular, but it may not even reach the player or the player cannot do much from it. And it involves a lot of risk because the other team can win the ball back and go on a counter attack. The 12th man is a term of affection. It's used when the other team is being really loud and encouraging the team. So the 12th man refers to the supporters because they're almost like another player. They can give the players on the pitch more motivation and energy to play really well. Against the run of play is when a team hasn't been dominating the match or even playing really well, but they score against the more dominating team. So they scored against the run of play. Bottled it. This is a phrase that you will hear in the UK a lot. So when the team has bottled it, they were leading or in a really good position, but they just threw it away. And you can apply this to life. Maybe you have an opportunity for a promotion, you're doing really well, but at the last minute you bottle it and you make a lot of mistakes, so you miss the chance. Court sleeping is when a player hasn't been concentrating. You could also say court napping or switched off. 
So the defender was caught sleeping because he wasn't concentrating and the defender got in and took the chance and scored the goal. Clean sheet. This is when a team does not concede a goal. Magic sponge. This is when a player receives treatment and magically gets up very quickly. So it's a term that is quite ironic and funny because how can a, mag how can a sponge just automatically make the player feel better? But he may be trying to uh, buy time, or maybe they're winning the match and they're trying to kill time so he can fake an injury. And so the referee has to call the physio on and uses the physio uses a sponge and automatically the player gets up. Man of the match. This is an award given to the player that's judged to be the best player. And this can be relative. So you may think, ah, oh, this player scored a goal, but then the man of, ma of the match may be awarded to another player who had more influence on the game. Nutmeg. Very, very strange. A nutmeg is when, you, when a player kicks the ball through the opponent's legs. And it can be quite skillful to do because it can be hard when people are running very fast. Put it on a plate. This is when a player creates an easy opportunity for his teammate to score. Screamer. This is a spectacular spectacular long-range goal where the ball flies in the air and it looks amazing. Sitter. A sitter is an easy opportunity that seems impossible to miss. You may hear the commentator say, oh he missed a sitter. So he missed such an easy chance and he can't believe it. Under the cosh. This is when a team is under immense pressure. So they have to defend and the other team is constantly, continuously attacking them and they feel like there's no way out, there's no escape. Dive. This is when a player deliberately tries to deceive the referee and falls to the ground. Off the woodwork. This is when the ball hits the goalpost and it refers to a time when goalposts used to be made of wood. Let me know in the comments, who do you think will win Euro 2024? Thank you so much for watching. Let me know in the comments what you thought of this video. If you like this video, please click the like button. If you are new here, click the subscribe button. Thank you so much and I will see you in the next lesson. Bye bye.